Hi guys, welcome to our channel. Home is where our heart is. If you haven't already, go and check out our delicious how to make your own homemade dandelion honey video that we just made the other day. Or check out our stinging nettle soup video because it's delicious. And today we're going to be making some homemade stingy nettle crisps and showing you how to do that. Yeah, so if you want to know how to make crisps from stinging nettles, then follow us. It's really, really easy to make stinging nettle crisps. You only need three ingredients. You just need your stinging nettles, any oil that you like, and you also need, we're going to use salt, but you can use any seasoning you want. Now to harvest a stinger nettle is super simple. You just cut off the top stem, the first four leaves, because then that allows the stinger nettle to recover and give us new fresh leaves that we can eat in the future, rather than pulling it all out and killing it. But you can eat the whole of a stinger nettle all the way down to the root, and it is all delicious. You should try a stinger nettle soup. That is my favorite. You can even eat stinger nettle raw. We'll just take a little leaf. Just massage off all the stings. The stings on sting nettles are little syringes that sting you. But it's actually quite good for you. So that... <laughs> Dead rat. <laughs> anyway, you can eat the sting and nettle raw. And it actually tastes quite nice. Maybe if you're brave enough, you'll try it. Let me know in the comments if you do. Anyway, let's get to it. do get stung this is a dock leaf and all you do is you break it up squish it up and you can add a bit of water if you like then if you get a sting say on your hand let it come up a bit and then you just rub it on it and it soothes it it feels quite soothing Hey, now we've got our stingy nettles, we're going to take them home and crisp them up. Some yummy stingy nettle crispies. Hi guys, we have made it home and first things first, we need to put some gloves on and wash these guys. Add half a teaspoon of salt. We like to have half, but you could add more and less, if that's what you like. And add three teaspoons of an oil you like. For us, it's rapeseed oil. Mix that up a bit. And then if you want to add any other seasonings, if you want to add any other seasonings to this, this is the time to add them in. Separate all your leaves from the stems. Once you've taken them all off the stems and they're all leafy in the bowl, then just mix it all up with that salty oil. So then you just place them all on your tray. Sprinkle them out. Try and get a thin layer. Bake in the oven until crispy at 150. They've been in for about 10 minutes. So just take out some of the cooked ones that could burn. So 
So now they've been in for about 15 or 20 minutes and all of them are ready. Ooh la la! Come on then kids, taste test. Take one. Nice. And there you have it. Stingy nettle crisps. Delicious. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Now for the taste test. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy. Crunchy. Salty. Mm. Stingy nettle. Not, got... not stingy. Not stingy. I should mention all the sting comes off when you cook them, in case you're worried. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> anyway guys that's how you cook sting and nettle crisps mm. thanks for watching and like comment and subscribe let us know in the comments if you have a go at making some yourself um we're going to finish these off in the garden and enjoy the evening <laughs> we'll see you all soon <laughs> peace, peace. <laughs>